Joe, it's a pleasure having you with us. It's wonderful to be here. Uh, and I'm really impressed and intrigued by the product uh, and the space that you are in. It is something of a child's dream, right? We we used to look at uh, look at cartoons and you know look at vertical takeoff. Uh, flying machines and all of those uh, you know, very interesting uh, futuristic uh, technologies coming in. Now, as the founder and CEO of uh, Joby Aviation, what is your vision for the future of urban air mobility, and what is the role that you see of electric vertical takeoff and the landing aircraft playing? You know, what is the role of it in transforming the transportation in the future? Yeah, thank you. It's it's amazing to be here with you and. This was my dream as a little boy, and it's incredible to see it coming true today. And this is uh, the first step on a really exciting journey. I've been uh, working on, on these aircraft for, for 30 years. I founded Joby 15 years ago, and our, our company has helped pioneer this, this exciting new space of taking uh, daily mobility and moving it from the ground into the air, freeing us from the confines of two-dimensional transportation. And it's, it's so exciting to think about uh, what this can mean for, uh, for people's lives uh, here in India and around the world. And you have an interesting product, eVTOL. Uh, you know, can you tell us about how unique it is and what are the design innovations uh, that you are bringing in with it? So our aircraft is, carries a pilot and four passengers mm -hmm. at speeds of uh, 320 kilometers an hour. Uh, with ranges of more than 150 kilometers. And so as we look at, at the opportunities that opens up, it, it allows us to uh, connect cities, but also connect uh, regions and provide so many more people access to the jobs they dream of and uh, they lets them connect with family and friends in a more expedient way, it lets you see people and be with people that you cherish uh, in a far faster and more uh, beautiful experience. I mean, who wouldn't want to avoid traffic congestion? There's a city in India called Bangalore, and I don't know if you're aware of it, but it might take you an hour to actually travel one kilometer. On and, and what if you could do that in, in less than a minute? That's what. So it's it's been a child's uh, dream. It's been an adult's dream. It's been everyone's dream. And you're absolutely right that, you know, it's, it's going to be a pleasure, an incredible experience to be able to move way faster, avoid uh, congestions, uh, and it's an incredible opportunity ahead of us. But every opportunity also comes with, so, with its own challenges. Would you be able to throw some light on what are the challenges that you face and you know if there are ways in which you navigate through those challenges? The key next step is building out the infrastructure. Mm -hmm. And the amazing thing about uh, eVTOLs and uh, vertical takeoff landing aircraft is the very light footprint that they mm -hmm. have. So with a single vertiport, you all of a sudden get access to an entire network. Mm -hmm. And it's very similar to what we've seen over the last few decades with computers, that all you need is a network connection and then you can access the, the whole world. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's very similar with this new mode of transportation where instead of the congestion that you see at airports where there's only a few runways with vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, it's much more expedient. You can you can proliferate because they don't take up so much space. They're much lower cost. You can deploy them much faster, and you can deploy much, many more of them. And that opens the skies to all of us. Yeah, but what are the challenges that you uh, building that infrastructure? It still takes time. Yeah. So the key to unlocking this new mode of transportation is having infrastructure that's conveniently placed, mm -hmm. so that uh, with just just a, a walk from your doorstep, you can you can get to a vertiport, but that's going to take 20 years. In the first step, it's about building a small network, maybe uh, 10 or 20 vertiports around a city, mm -hmm. and then it's multimodal, uh, which is an incredible way to highlight our, our partnership with Uber. Uber is one of our very significant investors. We bought the, the Elevate team from Uber, so this is the whole technology stack and all the tools that make a seamless multimodal journey of a car trip and a trip on our air taxi a, a seamless one-click experience. All right. That's very interesting to know. I will certainly want my friends to know about it because we've been complaining about it. And I'm a huge automobile fan. Uh, I love to drive uh, around, but I think the experience really ruins it uh, when you get congestion. And to know that the first step to eliminating that trouble, the seed has been sowed already. 
maybe 15 years 20 years what what do you think when will we get hands on oh no so our our, our goal is um uh, to begin rolling out the commercial service in in markets um in 2025 um and but uh here in india the, the critical step will be how quickly can we build out the infrastructure mm -hmm. and once we have the infrastructure built out then we can roll out the service i'm hoping that partners will will come who who want to build this this new class of infrastructure and we can work hand in hand with them we have a uh uh, we've we've put more than a decade into developing the world's most advanced electric charging system mm -hmm. and we've now open sourced that so that anybody in the world who wants to build can a uh, an electric it. aircraft charger can uh, can build it according to this uh, really uh, advanced charging standard and then we can have a, a unified way of charging electric aircraft around the world being a visionary actually comes with its own uniqueness How's your leadership being a visionary, being a disruptor? How do you manage your team, uh, you know, and uh, what is a message that you would have for the future leaders? I, I think it's it's really important to find a, a, a challenge, a problem that is going to have a profound impact on, on the future. Mm -hmm. And then if you can get uh, an incredible team that it uh, focuses all of their energies on accomplishing that really important goal. It's uh, so motivating. And then you can give people a lot of latitude, a lot of room to run to uh, help shape the future. And it's, uh, it's just so special to get to work with uh, hardworking and, and passionate people on a really important challenge. So what do you tell them every morning when you go to office? That anything is possible. All we need to do is set our mind to it and work, uh, work diligently. Absolutely. I think uh, a lot of other speakers I have interacted with as well had very similar thoughts that, you know, once you put your mind into the right place and once you have genuine belief that, you know, anything is possible, sky is the limit and sky is not a limit for you. <laughs> it's uh, it's so it's such an exciting opportunity and I'm so grateful to have the opportunity to be here in India and uh, really looking forward to uh, the future we can build together. Thank you so much for spending time with us and I wish you all the luck uh, going forward. And I look forward to being in that uh, vehicle as early as possible. Fantastic. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you.